Hello everyone. So I I wanted to make a very short video today about uh, skill management in uh, Jira. Now when people start using Jira or when they are thinking of using Jira, they usually want to, to know whether uh, we can do skill management within Jira. Now answer to this question is uh, not really straightforward yes or no. It depends. Now the thing is that uh, when it comes to skills or when it comes to skill management, what exactly you want to do with the skill management for your team members? So that is what you have to ask. Now I have built a, a custom skill management competency management system long back, and uh, I have some exper experience in this area. And because I am a consultant, I get asked this question quite a lot. Now, the problem is that in Jira, there is no straightforward, easy way to do skill management. You can always, you know, install an app. But even after installing the app, you will not be able to get uh, each and everything. Because uh, when you're talking about uh, skills, it can be a bit more uh, complicated. And especially in big companies, in organizations, there is always, always and always a separate HR system where they do keep track of skills and uh, appreciations and what do you call those things where you know that annual thing annual appraisals so basically there is usually in most companies like medium to big size companies there will be a tool there will be a system for skill management now when it comes to using skills within jira people actually want to know uh, or people want to use that information for planning and uh, I don't really think Jira is the right tool to do that, but I also understand that if you're trying to plan your work, you may want to know based on your uh, resources, availability, their skill set, you may want to plan the work. And that is where uh, I do miss portfolio for Jira. Advanced roadmaps is not really, you know, that feature rich, although it is simple to use, but at the same time, uh, in the old version of advanced roadmaps, portfolio for Jira, uh, there was that this feature of skill management and it was to be honest not really again it was not really complete but it was still quite good because uh, we were able to create uh, skills and also attach it to different team members and uh, portfolio used to use that information to create a plan for example if you're planning something you can say that i need uh, like a resource for java and so on and and that was wonderful but that is not really there anymore, unfortunately. But uh, apart from planning the work, you may want to just keep this information somewhere in the tool. And based on my experience, I think the best way to manage this information in Jira, I mean, how you use that information is up to you. But if, let us say, you have a project in Jira where uh, you're just keeping track of your uh, employees, like create one issue for each employee, let us say if I am Ravi Sagar, there will be an issue for me called Ravi Sagar, where uh, in that particular project for that particular issue or issue type, you will then uh, create some fields. So maybe you can create a field called as you know, primary skill, secondary skill, or maybe you know, you can make it a bit more, bit more complicated. And that is the beauty of Jira, because Jira essentially is an, is an issue tracker. So you can use this information uh, in whatever way you like. You can create like an issue type and in this case of course work workflow is not really important because if you're trying to store the information about your employees then i believe the workflow states would be i guess active inactive or you know something like that so there is no like path or process here it's more about storing the information so which you can and uh, if you are if you're on jira uh, i mean if you have asset then you can also use uh, asset database and the good thing about asset database is that you can also link it to your issues. So in this, in both the cases, whether you're using Jira issue, issues or you're using asset, you're just storing the information somewhere. It won't really help you for planning the work. It won't really give you details of your resources, availability based on their skill set. But it is still you know, quite good. And if you have things in Jira, maybe you can create a central dashboard for your employees' skills. And maybe you can also, because I've seen it in action, maybe you can use this information to plan some kind of a growth for your 
employees. And again, uh, only do it if you don't really have any other tool or maybe consult with your tools department because in big, in big companies, usually they have different BUs and you know different domains, blah, blah, blah. And there is usually a tool uh, for skill management and uh, competency management or maybe appraisals. But if you want to keep things in Jira and if, and if you want to keep things simple, uh, again, I, I'll say that don't use Jira for skill management. If you have to, then create a simple issue. That is it. That will work. And there are some apps, but those apps, uh, based on my experience, uh, will not really solve uh, all the problems. It is always better to use another another dedicated proper tool that is that was built, that is known for skill management. Something, I, I'll give you uh, one more example, like HR system, which is again, very obvious example, but uh, uh, don't use Jira for uh, like CRM. I mean, you can use uh, Jira to store the information, but lightweight lightweight information there are some apps that are really good to be honest for example uh, if you're doing testing then Zephyr apps are great because you can create cycles and executions that is like a very good because in case of Zephyr if you're doing testing using Zephyr then you are actually eventually you're looking at test cases but you need to also report on test executions so that actually works really well but apart from that uh, for other use cases, like similar use cases where you want to use Tira for uh, not only storing the information, but also to use it, use that information, then it can be a bit prob problematic. For skill management, Jira is not really the right tool. At the same time for uh, storing your uh, resources, vacations or availability, there, there are apps like Tempo, Planner, which you can use, but uh, you can probably get away with nothing but uh, the same project where you are storing the skills. Maybe on the same project, you can create a subtask, right? And I did talk about it. For example, you have like one issue for me, Ravi Sagar, where I can raise a request for, let us say, vacation. It will be a subtask, which I can raise somewhere, or maybe it, it's a separate project, but it is linked to my profile because I raised it. And if, you're a, if your manager is approving it, then... Uh, that, that is approved and then you can store that information because storing the, the information is not a problem whether you, you you're using an app or whether you're using your own issue type your own customized setup how you, you, you how you're going to use that information is important and that is where uh, some of the apps are good for uh, because if if you want to do vacation management there are some apps that you can use but you have to use the entire app for uh, not only storing the vacations or you know holidays but also to plan the work for example big picture so that is that is all i wanted to talk about in this in this video skill management is not really uh great all right in jira by the way all right that is it that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye